Hi, this is Sachi. Welcome to my channel, Sachi Studio. My daughter got this kid sewing machine from Santa Claus for Christmas. She is five, almost six. It's simple and easy enough for her to play with on her own. This machine does not sew on regular fabric because it is actually a felting machine. Three needles go up and down and poke fabric in high speed and mush them together rather than sewing with thread. Which is a great thing because you don't have to be bothered every five minutes to re-thread the machine. Downside is that you can only use felt fabric. It comes with a few projects to make with special printed fabric. They are very cute and she loved making them. She went through all of the projects within an hour after opening the box. So I pulled out craft felt squares that I had in my stash and they worked fine. We cut out some shapes and made stuffed shapes. On this, she appliqued little shapes on a bigger piece of felt and made a little pouch for her grandma's reading glasses. Then she wanted to make something she can wear. This might be a little bit of a challenge because the machine can only handle a few layers of thin felt. So I drafted an easy basic beret pattern for her, which would work within these limitations. If you want to use the pattern, you can download the printable PDF for free on my website. I cut out the shapes for her the night before, but if your child is confident with fabric scissors, you can just trace the pattern so he or she can cut out the fabric. I also made some felt flowers to decorate the hat. You might struggle to push two layers of craft felt under the needles, but once they were in place, our machine handled it without a problem. I drew seam lines with wax chalk, so it's easy for my daughter to know where to sew. Trim the seam allowance half inch from the edge. The seams are completely mushed together, so you don't have to worry about cutting it too close. I'm a video to cut it. Hmm. Cut it? We must go. Just a minute. Let me see. Align the long edge of the side piece to the circumference of the top piece. Use clips to secure the pieces in place and never use any pins. You don't want to accidentally sew over the pins, which would break the machine needles. You can also do basting stitches, but be sure to use the same color thread as the fabric since anything you sew over will be incorporated in the seam and you won't be able to get it out afterwards. Now you sew around and stitch the pieces together. Take the clips off as you go. When you come to where side pieces are stitched together, sew as close to the seam as possible, stop the machine, take the piece out, and place it back again so the bulk of the seam is right behind the needles to avoid sewing over it. Turn the edge to the wrong side by 3 eighths of an inch or half inch and carefully sew over it to reinforce the opening. Yeah.
<laughs> That's it for this video. Thanks for stopping by. If you have some more ideas we can play with, I'd love to know them, so please let me know in the comment section.